Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying feet, yards and miles, which are measuring units for measuring length. And first I want to remind you of something you already know about, which is inches on your ruler, right? And I have a ruler here that also measures in inches. And so these numbers here, 1, 2, 3, are for inches. When we get to 12 inches, we get one foot. That's why my ruler has a big number one there, okay? So 12 inches makes one foot. And this particular ruler extends another foot over there. So this two is for two feet. I drew up here one foot and another and another, a total of three feet. And three feet are called a yard. One yard is three feet. Okay, I'll put my ruler here so you will see again how does one foot here, right? From here to here, one foot. Then another, and then there's the third one too. So three feet is one yard. And uh, yeah, I know, Matthew, you, you like jumping on number lines. I'll let Matthew jump one foot jumps. Whee! One foot, another foot, another foot. Okay, that's fun, right? You can try that too. Draw yourself on ground. One foot marks and then jump or hop. Now, one more unit. So we have looked at inches and feet and yards and then miles. Miles are bigger units yet. Miles are used to measure very long distances, such as between towns, for example, or maybe from your house to the grocery store or something like that. One mile is 5,280 feet. So miles are the big long units and the smallest ones were inches, then was foot, then yard, okay? And then lastly miles. Here I have two lines that I'm going to measure. And as you can see, this one is more than one foot long because one foot is here. So after one foot, I have five inches. So it is exactly one foot, five inches. And this is how I can abbreviate foot as FT and then inch as IN, as you know. And then this second line is longer than my ruler. So what I will do is I will mark here at two feet, then take my ruler and it is eight inches. Or in other words, two feet, eight inches. And you also, I want you to measure, practice measuring things, how high they are, or how tall or how wide or how long different things are in feet and inches. Over here, we're going to find the area and perimeter of a square with four yard sides. Okay? It's a geometry problem talking about area and perimeter and a square. So draw a sketch, just a little picture, kind of help you think some kind of a square, a little floppy, but it doesn't matter, it helps you think, okay? And then you can mark on it what you know, four yards, and this side is four yards. So what is its area? For the area, you remember, I could mark this, mark off these sides with the four yard increments, I could draw these lines and get the grid. And I could count the squares inside. Or I can multiply, which is quicker, 4 times 4. The area, A for area, the area is 4 times 4 gives us 16. What unit will I put here? Area is always measured in square units. So I have to put here square yards, or yard and then this little 2. And then the perimeter. You go around the figure, 4 and 4 and 4 and 4. That's 4 times 4, 16 too. But this time, what unit will we put here? The same as here, yards. Right. Over here, our task is to fill in the blanks so that it makes sense, okay? The room is 12 watt wide, a unit. Miles, centimeters, feet, what? 
12 inches won't work. That would be a pretty little room, unless it was a dollhouse. But then 12 inches might work. If it is a normal room, I think we need to use feet. Matthew bicycled five something to the library. Okay, five inches, five feet, five yards, five miles. Aha, uh -huh, miles, of course. Matthew, what did you, what kind of books did you get? Oh, okay, I should have guessed. Yeah, puzzle books. The garden measures five something by ten something. Five inches? No, can't be inches, can't be miles, but it could be feet or yards. However, even five feet is not a very big garden, so I think it might be yards. Let's put yards here, that works best. Annie ran hundred something to the neighbor's house. Here, two units are possible. It could be she ran 100 feet, but then again, maybe she ran 100 yards, three times as much. The table is 34 something tall. This could even be centimeters, but it would be a pretty, a pretty small table. I think inches work best here, don't you think? Lastly, we are going to do some conversion problems. One foot is 12 inches, like I told you, and you saw it on the ruler, right? So how about two feet? How many inches would it be? If one foot is 12 inches, two feet is 24 inches, yes. How about seven feet? One foot is 12 inches. Seven feet is seven times that much. You multiply seven times 12. Your multiplication tables? 84 inches. How about one foot, three inches, into inches. Not difficult, because one foot is 12 inches, so I have here 12 plus three inches, 15 inches. And then lastly, two feet, five inches. Okay, two feet equals 24 inches, and then five inches more than that, 29 inches. Lastly, we get to talk about people's heights. Here's a girl, Emma is 4 foot 7 inches tall, and Sam is 5 foot 2 inches tall. How much taller is Sam than Emma? Okay, here we have the 4 feet and 7 inches, 5 feet and 2 inches. Think about it this way. How many inches would Emma need to grow to be 5 feet? Right now, there's the 7 inches, okay? If she grows 5 inches, then she will have 12 inches, right? That makes the next foot. And so 5 inches, and then 5 foot 2 inches, or 5 feet 2 inches, so there's 2 inches more here. 5 inches of growing, and 2 more inches of growing. A total of 7 inches, right? Okay, we're all done with this lesson.